Hello students, so let's try to solve this particular problem. This is question number A4 from TIFR 2024. So this is a wonderful question, very conceptual. So let me first brief you what is this particular question. So there is configuration of a spring and there are three springs are involved and which is named as A and B. A has basically a spring constant Ka and B has a spring constant Kb. And uh, this A is making angle theta with vertical, which is nothing but pi by 3. So what will be angular frequency of mass m for small oscillation? So let's try to solve this particular problem. This is wonderful problem. So what is the idea behind this? The idea is very simple. What we will do? We will just uh, go for a very simple strategy. We will just try to see what will be the force due to this two spring along x axis and then we will go for the concept of equivalent spring so let's try to go for this one. so let's try to first see this all this only a part here so what is this particular a we have this particular spring and this particular spring is there and let us assume this point is is a node and if it is going to extend x distance then this angle hence this angle is pi by 3 then this angle is obviously pi by 6. So what will be force acting on this particular direction? The force acting on this particular direction in this direction is basically kx cos pi by 6. Similarly, force acting on this direction is also kx cos pi by 6. And what will be force acting in this direction? This direction we have a resultant force and this k is nothing but Ka actually, so this is Ka, this is Ka. So in this particular direction, if we are having this particular force in x direction, then this value is equal to 2 times Ka x cos pi by 6 into cos pi by 6 because we are taking component along this direction. So what is this particular value? So this particular value is 3 Ka by 2 into x. This is my fx and if we will find the equivalent spring constant for this particular these two configuration for the x axis is nothing but k b equivalent is nothing but 3 by 2 k a now what we can do we can have another configuration and we can just reduce this all thing in a new configuration what is this configuration we can assume there is a one spring of this particular 3 by 2 Ka and another spring has basically Kb and that is going to attach with mass m. Now we can solve this particular problem in a very simple way. So these two spring is just a, a spring in a series. So when they are in a series, we can find 1 upon K equivalent is equal to 1 upon 3 by 2 Ka plus 1 upon kb and this is 1 upon k equivalent is equal to 2 by 3 ka plus 1 upon kb and that value is equal to 2 kb plus 3 ka upon 3 ka into kb now this will be 1 upon k equivalent. So what will be your k equivalent? The k equivalent we can easily see that is 3 k k b and you have basically this is 3 k a k b by you can say 2 k b plus 3 k 2 k b plus 3 k a. So this is your k equivalent. So now you can assume the whole system have a single spring which has k equivalent and it has mass m and now the angular frequency is nothing but root under k equivalent by mass m and this value is equal to 3 k a k b upon 2 k b plus 3 k a into you have mass m. So this value is your answer and you have option number A is the answer. So it's a wonderful question. So what is idea? 
idea is that what you will do you have basically uh, you can just resolve the all forces in a desired x direction because this is your reference and then you can go for the equivalent uh, spring system so you can easily do this type of problem okay because it's a really wonderful problem